Um, today is a fun day because I am about to go to the tattoo shop. My guy Drew is about to tat me up. He is an amazing tattoo artist. I'm going to his um, shop right now. His shop is so cute. So let's go ahead and go. I want to get some McDonald's like a sausage biscuit or something before I leave. That seems yummy. Um, but your girl is getting tatted today. I'm about to be 25. I feel like this tattoo means so much to me. Uh, 2019 has been interesting for me and um, yeah girl i'm about to be 25 so i need to get this tat i'll talk to you guys more about like the meaning behind my tattoo and why i'm getting it when we get there but let's go ahead and get out this Hi house guys i'm about to get out the car i got mcdonald's for lunch pulled up to the shop drew i pulled up to your shop so we are less than 30 days into my 25th birthday um this is this tattoo is a part of my birthday gift to myself um and I'm super excited. I know this is gonna hurt because it's on my freaking wrist. I'm getting a cover up. Now the tattoo that I have now is Queen of Hearts because I'm a queen of the freaking hearts, period. Um, but as you can see, it's upside down when you guys see it. But when I'm like down, if you're like from behind me, you can see it. But I need it to be right this way. <laughs> But so uh, when I was thinking about a tattoo concept, I was just like, you know, I love roses. I have roses on my back and I wanted a cover up. So I was like, I could do a rose, a stand up rose. Like I love roses. I like when guys buy me roses. Um, so that's like the surf, like the just like, oh, I like roses. But you know, with this rose, I just feel like beauty is pain and it just represents all that I've been through 2019. I fought for a lot of things. I'm walking into a, a new, a transitioning point in my life. So this entire tattoo just, it, it just marks that. Stepping into a new place. I'm just super excited about it. So for this cover up tattoo, I only trust a Drew. I know he's gonna get me right and he's gonna create a dope piece on my body. And we are here at the shop now, Hidden Gym. So this is the shop. Hi, Drew. Hi, Drew. Nice to see you again. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you. I'm vlogging yeah, behind yeah, the scenes yeah, yeah. of today. Yeah. I'm excited. We have talked about this for freaking months, Drew. Yeah, true enough. And I'm finally here. I'm going to do it. You ready to cover that up? Yes. Let's get it. Because this is my arm that shows in all my photos. Yeah. So I also was like, I have to have a tattoo artist that's not going to mess me up with this because this is like all my photos, you see it. And like, yeah, as a model, I have to look right. right. Morning, right? Yes. All right, cool. You see, it could cover it could cover this up quick. Um, the only thing is, like, it's leaving some of this like exposed. So I'm just trying to get rid of all of this, mm -hmm. and that's why I was saying like it's gonna have to be like more dark than anything because like the tattoo that you have there already is pretty dark. Right. So you wanna you you if you want it 100% covered, not being seen. I mean, we could. Uh, choose like a different like head of the flower right. itself and um, then what about different um leaves yeah, to try to cover i'm gonna that. try to like maneuver the leaves around to like just 100 uh -huh. cover everything so we're designing the tattoo right now well drew is i'm <laughs> just i'm just over here i saying, think ah. one or two like well not those but i like his right here oh yeah yeah. Dude, you know what i'm saying up. some of them adds a little yeah. more realistic so we're literally designing it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Or something like that, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Right. You like that? 
interesting. Yeah. I'm digging. It definitely has like a more rose shape to it than yeah. the other one. Yeah. Okay, let's sure. see if we could. This is so exciting. Yeah, so here you can see exactly where everything is getting covered up at, basically. So, like, that's the rose. And then everything we have to cover up about it. Heart's gonna be, like, inside the rose itself. Yeah, and then, like, back over here is where I could try to get, like, some of that detail that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, try, like, sticking some of that detail. As long as it's not going not through, in the it's middle. Good. Yeah. yeah. So, I think this is pretty solid. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, just like, I think like a little bit more tweaking and then we're good to go. And not, the, the little stem doesn't have to be so long. Okay, cool. We I, I, I want to, we can thin it out. <laughs> I want to keep it like in proportion too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to really like, do it like that. You I like it that size? I, I actually do. But just like thin out the tail, I guess. All right. Yeah, I just don't want it too short. Right. Where it's too close to the leaves. You and know what I mean? Just, yeah, that'll look better. Like in proportion, I think, like with a little. It'll look better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the whole thing. Okay, yeah, let's just do the whole thing because I like the whole thing and I would hate for it to look short like that. That would bother me too. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not getting any more tattoos. I think I'm out of the game <laughs> with the tattoos after this. I don't know. I'm not a tattoo person, no, but I like little me. dainty, like little here. I have this one and I have this one. Not like I got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one over here because it's, I'm not that type of girl. And then <laughs> this one. <laughs> Ooh. This is the, like the behind the scenes, Ooh. like how a cover up is made. Yes. Now, boom. Oh, it dark is nice. That shit looks bomb as fuck. I'm so That's the, excited. That's the goal. It looks bomb. <gasps> You guys saw it first before Jayla. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh my god, I'm gonna keep looking at it for <laughs> Good morning guys, what is today? I actually don't know today's date, but I know we are in November and that's the problem right there. Okay, so today is Tuesday, November 5th and my birthday is November 11th and I am flying out on my birthday. I have an 8 a.m. flight somewhere, I'm turning 25, I feel like every year you guys watch what I do for my birthday, for my 21st birthday, for my 22nd birthday. You know, I kind of have like went all out. In New York, a house and my friends fly in and then we get strippers. I've done it all. The party bus, the club, but I feel like I'm like over partying. I party all the time, I go to parties all the time, I'm over it. So. I decided that I wanted to take a vacation, a real vacation. Um, you guys know I go on a lot of trips, but sometimes I'm with a brand or I'm working. And this trip, I just wanted it to be a real vacation. So, me and some girls are flying now. You guys will see who's coming. But the problem is, I don't know what I'm wearing on my vacation. I don't even have a birthday dress. I haven't even thought about it. So, some days I like to get my house like extra clean, like the floors mopped up. Cause you know, I have a dog and um, I need to set Harlem's, apart, um, Harlem's appointment right after I finish talking to you guys. But, 
so someone's coming up to deep clean the floors and the bathrooms i like that and the house is gonna be smelling so good i'm really excited because i did a run through and it's clean but you know that extra clean so but back to what i was talking about okay the problem is i don't have a birthday dress i haven't even thought about what i want to wear for my birthday and 25 is a big year like i can't believe i'm turning 25 i remember like just graduating high school and going to college and like to even think that i'm old oh my god like i was just in college and now i'm a grown adult so that just means something to me and i'm just like super excited for my birthday but i feel like i've been working so much that i haven't even been able to think about my birthday so me and trey were talking and <coughs> that's the doorbell I'm back in the house. Today was a grocery day. Got some groceries. Gotta take a look into the kitchen. Whew. Stocked up. Harlem, you wanna get out? So, we all have what we love walking around the house in. And for me, it's sweats and slides. So I got my Nike slides on with just some sweats and my AKA hoodie. It says pretty girl. Um, and this is just, it's so cold outside now. I like to be cozy. So tonight is friends night. I gave it a name. It's not really a name, but some nights I have my friends come over or stop by. Um, me and Trey will be in the kitchen cooking cause that's our thing. Like we bond over food. It's <laughs> So we are having chicken and dumplings tonight with collard greens and this, you know, me and Trey bond off of that. We're both from the South, both from North Carolina. I've known Trey since we were in high school. Was it high school? Like middle. middle. Yeah, really like middle school. So we grew up in the same area and we like the same foods. Okay. Up here, they really don't be know how to cook like that. Okay. Let me, they don't, they don't, they don't respect the quality, the seasons that go into food. And me and Trey, we get it. So we, it's so cold outside, we wanted a comfort meal. And I was saying to him like, dang, I really be wanting some chicken and dumplings. And he like, me too. So we're prepping up in the kitchen, chicken and dumplings. It's lit, you know, it's lit. So in this pot, I just have some chicken broth boiling. I'm about to add one of the chicken bouillon cubes. That's just to make the chicken broth stretch. You can add water to it. It's heavily seasoned. Mm -hmm. We need that some seasoning. Some Puerto Rican stuff right there. <laughs> no, do you know what? This is really good. Um, collard greens. Yeah, that's why I put it in the collard greens. Yeah, yeah. good. Love that seasoning. Okay, that's what we had to get some. The chicken is seasoned, um, normal seasons, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, a little bit of obey on the chicken. And then for the, I guess, chicken and dumplings, it's bread. It's not noodles. Some people use noodles, but the authentic way is to use dough. And collard greens, a little bit of bacon for the collard greens, because you know, I know that's an extra fat. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how they taste good. <laughs> Store. Uh, and you uh, can't onion. have collard like, greens dang. without an onion. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I just took the chicken out of the broth from boiling and cooking and now I'm about to shred it <laughs> for the dumplings and I'm going to add the biscuits <laughs> next. Everything looks so good and fresh. The bacon is crisp up and done for the collards. We just need an onion. <laughs> Dang! Come here. <laughs> Say hey, Harlem. What's 
Welcome to Friends Friends Dinner, Friends Night, or whatever we're calling it. I try to name it. Try to name the dinner. <laughs> 